I'm Anita Allen, um, coordinator of international activities here at BU. I've worked at the university for 29 years. Um, the first 14 was at student services in the Dean of Students office and uh, almost 15 here. And look after all the international students on campus, prospective international students and students who have left and gone home type of thing. And I'm Dave Rowland, Director of International Activities. Uh, I've been here now for six years. Uh, I was the Dean of Students at the University uh, for five. And my primary role is, is uh, recruiting students internationally, uh, so bringing students in uh, and helping to provide uh, the support services to retain them here. This is the Office of International Activities. Pretty much every international student who, who arrives on campus comes at some point or another. Uh, they want to come and see me regarding health insurance, you know, to be sure. Maybe I won't see them again after that. I try and collect everybody's email address to keep them updated probably once or twice a week on things that are important to them. Um, then we also have uh, Canadian students come who are interested in uh, inquiring about exchange opportunities and in you know partnering up maybe sometimes with conversation partners with international students. Um, we have members of the international student organization coming a lot to uh, liaise with us and we have the English language students who come every term to study English and you know any students who have potential you know if they have family they have friends or something like permanent residents in town a lot of them come by for information for their family members as well. Well, there's 200 international students um, made up of uh, international students in regular classes, university classes, and English language students. We have visiting students from Taiwan and sometimes from Mexico, but roughly it's about 200. We, uh, we facilitate international orientation, uh, so it's, it's an opportunity for international students uh, to engage in activities specific uh, to, that, to that group, that cohort. Um, but we also encourage them to be part of the, the larger orientation sessions as well. We're a, we're a department within student services. You know, we kind of bridge students with some of the academic supports at, uh, within student services as well. So we have students that uh, you know, may require uh, additional help with writing papers, uh, learning skills, um, counseling, those types of things. So, um, so we, you know, we act sort of as a, a liaison uh, with, the, with the broader student services mandate. Well, I try and keep them pretty much updated. I, if there's any information, like if there's uh, events coming up, if there's you know changes that will affect them, if there's um, opportunities for on-campus jobs, off-campus jobs, any kinds of things that I that I think they really need to be aware of, I'll send email to the whole list uh, several times a week. So I'm pretty much in touch with all of them most of the time. Well, we have our English language program that uh, we have three times a year for 13 week sessions, English for academic purposes. And uh, we're getting students from oh, a lot from China, but we've had probably from 30 different countries over the length of time I've been here. And when they take successfully complete the highest level of the English language program, then they're considered regular international students at the university with no further English language requirements. So we have that. Uh, as far as translation, we do get called on a lot for uh, people in the community, people on campus uh, that will have something that needs to be translated and the students, if we have from that particular country, are usually very willing to assist. And if we have a higher level student with a certain language and a lower, you know, they'll, they'll help each other out that way. We worked together with BUSU on uh, an international week for students, uh, which was mm -hmm. really well received. Yeah, it was so great. So hopefully we'll continue that next year as well. We encourage our students to participate in community events as well. So there's a lot of times mm -hmm. where uh, our Chinese student organization and other organizations will facilitate events off campus. But the English language students, we really get them started off uh, with a lot of uh, social activities. It's a part of the program. And so probably three, four or five times a term, we'll take them out to do some typically Canadian activities, wiener roasts and tobogganing and curling and you know, hiking and those types of things. So we try and get them started off like that because not only are they new to the country, but their language skills are a, a little lower and they have a little bit more trouble. So we try and get them right involved as quickly as we can. And then they'll move hopefully into the uh, university stream and, you know, we'll take part, hopefully, in everything that's offered here to everyone. We'll refer them to the Career Planning and Placement Officer, Doug Popel. Um, I'll suggest that uh, before changes that took place on June 1st, they could some could only work on campus, and I'd you know give them lists of all the places on campus to go and take a resume and check out for job opportunities, and refer them to third floor human resources. Now, as of uh, the 1st of June, uh, students not in English language programs but in regular programs 
can work off campus immediately upon receiving a study permit. So, you know, they there's a lot of job opportunities in town and the students go out and find them. And we have quite a few of our international students that work on campus as well. Mm -hmm.